Don't want to ruin the chances. Um, let's go. Let's go back. Let's do this NPC first. Um, so we're gonna head back into the mill. There's a few arms we can still get back from this area. So we're heading in this direction, so you can see like Bergenworth over there. And then the, uh, the lake. Parts are. There is another item. Like, there's a. You can drop down there and get that. And small poison knives. So well, let's go over here. Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you were a hunter, then... Would you know of any safe havens? Um, okay. So I'm going to withhold information. Oh, yeah, of course not. I should have known. This whole place is falling apart once again. It's the curse of Yarnum. Um, but you can see this guy's a bit dodgy from the start. He's kind of like feasting on a child's corpse there <laughs> when we find him. Um, I'm assuming he's like killed and started to eat these the, the parents as well um so yeah you can uh, this is another npc you can send to a, a safe place uh if you send this guy to uh odin chapel uh he slowly starts killing everyone there and then when it's done that he uh, transforms into a beast and puts in this really uh sinister voice uh, which is always fun to to play out um if you send him to yusefka's clinic he uh, becomes an easy kill. Turns into something else. Um, or you can kill him now. And kind of get... Uh, XP for it. So if we attack him... He's gonna transform. I might die here, actually. Have you got a screw loose? Or is it your animal intuition? You hunters have got more blood on your hands. Whoa. And he 
just fucked me up. Maybe I should have sent him to the clinic. some reach. beast <laughs> and they have the deck goes back okay um yeah I just don't want to run back and try and kill him again um so yeah a bit of a safe strat there uh but like I said there's, there's an easy way to kill him and that's just to send him to Yusefka's clinic um and then make your way back there I probably should have done that but if you do that you don't get the experience for it uh you still get the the beast rune though uh, secret symbol left by Carol or Runesmith of Bergenworth. Transcri transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast. The bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes as well as one of the first to be deemed f uh, forbidden. The discovery of blood in entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. Um, and that was that. So... Let's head back to uh, the clinic um, and get that weapon on the Actually, I think there's only one item down here, I think. Might be wrong. Do we have secret passages? Cannon. Yeah. And we just drop down here, and that's where we drop down the first time. God, now I just gotta find my way back. Go for a few of these to get some some easy blood echoes, I guess. Thank you. 
Ah, that does mean I've got to go for the, the oil pits as well. little shortcut. Oh, okay, this just means we're heading further down the side. Necessary, but necessary. Um, uh, I don't like. I'm just gonna do this quickly because I need to check these things out. I just walk into his flame. So I'm not gonna kill everything. I don't think. So that's where I fell down. <laughs> Wondering if there's something that's down here. Oh. stone thing. Rose. Is there a way to jump over as well? To get up there. Give it one last go. I think it's kind of like I jumped too early, but if I it doesn't look like I can jump if I make it too late. I don't think there's anything up there anyway. It's yeah, it's definitely not intended. So 
No worries there. Uh, so let's just carry on. So this way, we are going to go to uh, the pathway to Yosef because I was going to send that uh, that beast uh, that we killed in the, on the windmill uh, to to Yosef's clinic first. Just to kind of show you what happens to him, but it's probably better to kill him there if you can kill him just for the uh, for the echoes. So the voice in the house has changed now. Oh yeah, that's where we got that tonsil sewn. Oh, we just went behind that cage. It's to a little pathway. This bit, like the enemies in here, uh, I absolutely hate because they're tiny. And a bit hard to hit. Antidotes. Those uh, in a little while. Ah, oh, so let's continue with this lovely run uh, into this area. Okay, this bit. Not so much for the poison or for the uh, for the big beasts over there. For their damage, which can probably kill me really easily. Uh, but for the little damn slugs that come out of them, come out. Where do they come out of? Do they come out of the stones? I don't even know. Fucking hate these things. Uh, have we got enough healing to do this bit? Don't even know. Got two big guys to kill. Some sluggies to take out. Hit them. Uh, is there anything down here? Yeah, we'll have a look. Just a load of these fuckers. <laughs> Chondren. They scared of fire. Do they hold back if we've got fire in with us? I don't think so. Okay, we've got one more big guy to take on. Small little slug things. Yeah, one or two more items.
Oh, he still hit me. All right. And two, two healing items. Um. We got some slugs. All right, let's get out of there. No point. We're only lead to death. And that bitch sleep. That will get. Yeah, I think that's all the items in there. Head on up. To the sir, this yard. That's a little doorway there. Got this opens up. This takes us back to the beginning of the game. Um, okay. Want to heal him though? I don't know if it's a uh, some healing first. Let's see if we get some from around here. Suckers. Shaman Bone Blade. An item. A uh, blade of bone coated with gruesome spinal fluid used by old labyrinth watchers. In particular, those uh, residing over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid tempor temporarily numbs the senses, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. The blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective. Breaks. Uh, hi, Tom. Some more madman's knowledge. some insight into East Africa's clinic but I'm gonna do this shortcut first here we have some kind of alien type thing Uh, 
and that was so quiet is Sefka's blood fire due to inventory storage map. And we've got Kane's her Kane her summons. Uh, so yeah, so this is the one like the the yeah, Sefka's in actually no, that's not true. That's not true. I was gonna say that like, is that it's Sefka's imposter, but that's not her. Uh, yeah, I'm out of healing. Uh, but we did get the Kanehurst summons. Now this is a key item. A summons inviting you to Kanehurst. An old bloodstained summons invited an honored an honored guest to the forsaken castle Kanehurst. Rather baffling, bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate. The stagecoach stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. Um, and this is a key to another optional area, which um. Probably going to go to in about two videos time. Uh, we also picked up the tonsil stone. And this reads, a last deformed rock or perhaps a meteorite. Appears useless but possesses some old gravitational force that prevents its radiance. A dubious soul once said. Step lightly around to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the godhead will grant you strength. So that's what we got from here. Can I use this? Uh, Yusef. That's because the blood falling. Uh, this refined blood highly invigorates, restores a large amount of HP. This rare blood vial is produced at a slow and careful refinement process, slightly devised by the doctor herself. Let's use that. Healing. This one. Um, okay, so if you send anyone to your Sefka's clinic uh, at all and you come through uh, this side passage, they are all going to be turned into those jelly type things, uh, celestials. And they're all like across this hallway. They still drop some items when you kill them. Just don't think they. Uh, Uh, you just don't like have their stories play out. A communion. Uh, another carol rune. So we've already got a communion. This is probably the plus three one. Just gives us more blood vials. Go through this way. Ah, moonlit scents. How did you worm your way in here? Very unfortunate. I had such high hopes for you. Well, I won't make any excuses. Would you mind leaving us alone? Things need not change. You'll do the rescuing, and I'll do the saving. But if you refuse to leave... Oh well. I've always wanted to try my hand on a hunter. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the, uh, Sefka Imposter. Imposter to Sefka. Um. God. This won't hurt a bit. I'll soon have you right as rain. <laughs> oh, fuck. She got some magic. Oh, oh fuck. River equips the um. Oh no. That's it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, how exciting. 
exciting. I should have equipped her, uh, um, her, the blood vial to heal myself there. Oh shit. Get out of here. She threw a mist on us, so we can't actually heal yet until that wears off. Oh, I can't remember. Is it, is it Old Healing Mist? Or Holy Mist or something? I don't know. Some space. Just to die. Oh, shit. Trapped. She shoots me. Down. Which is for here. She got the whip. That was a bloody big hit. Okay. I mean, she's not too hard. She's kind of an easy fight. Stuns. I just need you an easy, like, dodge to the side, getting close. And uh, just keep attacking. Were there anything else in that room? Something. Uh, yeah, if you come back later on, she's like alone on this table, uh, giving birth. I think. Um, and we got. What did we get? Uh, I can't remember that transcribe that transcribes in human sounds. Uh, Wraith sees a uh, subtle mucus, 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 a subtle mucus in the warmth of blood, and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the dark hunter techniques. Visceral attacks restore quick silver bullets. Human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade and the essence of the formless great one, Odin. Both Odin and his inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek their precious blood. So before I finish out, we're just gonna do some upgrades. Yeah. So we've got six levels to go up. I think I might just spread these out. Yeah, spread these out. Two vitality, two endurance, two strength. And then just spend everything on good files. All eight of them. Um, okay, so that's it for this part. Um, I think for the next one, I'm gonna be doing another optional area. Um, and we'll see how that plays out. Uh, so hopefully see you guys in the next video. Take care.